Okay, I'm going to be going over uh, the slide deck in Chapter 1. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the objectives of learning uh, in Chapter 1, there's three of them. The real estate market in California, uh, the difference uh, between real and personal property, and how we describe land. Okay, so California Association of Realtors has the most complete list of disclosures and advisory forms. Um, these uh, forms, you know, are written in plain English so that they help the lay person uh, so that each uh, party in the transaction can understand. Uh, Department of Real Estate is responsible for uh, the licensing laws and regulation. Now, the Department of Real Estate does have a real estate commissioner. That's the person who's uh, at the head of the Department of Real Estate. Now, um, the name of the Department of Real Estate has gone back and forth uh, throughout the years between Bureau of Real Estate, Department of Real Estate, but right now it is the Department of Real Estate. Now, all of you in class might be here because you do eventually want to earn a salesperson or a broker's license. Okay, so for qualification for the salesperson license, uh, you do need to have uh, three classes, one of which is this one. So you're getting started in the right place uh, as far as earning the coursework that you need in order to obtain your license. So I encourage you to read through the book, and if you have any questions on the types of classes uh, that uh, qualify in order for you to get your license, please let me know. Okay, uh, internet sites. Uh, increasingly in the last few years, uh, internet sites uh, help educate the public uh, much more than ever before. Okay, so both buyers and sellers are now doing their searches online, which is very true. Uh, a couple of uh, popular sites are Realtor.com and Zillow.com. Uh, there are others like Trulia, um, where you know buyers and sellers could go see the value of homes or what's for sale in the area. Um, there are some pros and cons about advertising. Uh, on third-party sites, uh, you do uh, get more exposure. Um, there's no cost uh, to list properties for other uh, agents. Um, you find buyers faster, and quality leads uh, you can obtain from, from those sites. Um, now, the cons of advertising is definitely the biggest one, is the lag between updates in the MLS and third-party sites. Uh, oftentimes, the third-party sites do not have correct information uh, from items that are in the MLS. And due to that, you often get contacts about homes that are either no longer for sale, have already sold, or just the, the price is wrong or, you know, things like that. So that makes it difficult to use third-party sites. Um, so, uh, again, it can be effective in finding new clients but uh, there is that issue of uh, not having all the correct information on those other sites. Okay, uh, you know, California real estate does have a high cost at this time. Um, it's unbelievable to me how much the prices have raised, even with the interest rate uh, raising in the, in the past year to two years. Uh, there is not a whole lot of construction of residential real estate in California. And I don't see the high cost of real estate going coming down anytime soon. And obviously, if you want more information about that, you know we can we can discuss have a discussion on that uh, you know privately. Now, with that being said, uh, because the cost of real estate is so high, um, the commissions are actually going up. Um, now, the commission is usually, well, it, it's a percentage of the sales price. Uh, when I started selling real estate in 2000, though, it was usually 6% every transaction. Um, now, uh, the commission on a, a transaction could be as low as 4%. Um, and there are uh, also other strategies uh, that we could discuss 
um, that companies use uh, discount rated commissions for. Um, next, okay, so this is a commission structure and how it breaks down. So typically, if the total commission, let's say for a transaction is 30,000, uh, it's broken evenly between the buyer and the seller. Okay, so in that case, each broker would make 15,000. Now, uh, there is a commission split between the broker and the salesperson. So if your commission split as the salesperson is 70%, uh, then you would make approximately 10500 from uh, the sale that netted 30000 total commission. And your broker would make 4500 That's why it's important uh, to think long-term in your career and maybe think about getting your broker's license because if you have your broker's license, you can employ agents and for little to no work, earn 30% of whatever they make. Okay, next we'll talk about real and personal property. Um, ownership is a bundle of rights. So these are the rights that you have with owning real property, possession, enjoyment, control, and disposition. Okay, so there are two types of property, real and personal. So real um, is land and anything attached to land. Personal is anything that's not real. Okay, so here are uh, some definitions of uh, land. So, you know, I would recommend you read the book, and if you don't understand any of these uh, definitions, then let me know. Okay, so anything permanently attached or fixed to land is real property, building, fences, walls, incidental or pertinent to the land. A pertinent means runs with the land, and anything that's immovable by law. Okay, so Obviously, if there's a tree in some ways property, you can't just go grab the tree and move it. So it is, by definition, real estate. Uh, the book also discusses air, airspace and things of that nature, um, which, you know, you don't really deal with with a typical real estate transaction. Now, personal property. Um, anything that is not real property, as we talked about. Then we can also talk about implements. Um, implements is if you know you're a farmer and you have crops. Even though you're a tenant of the property, uh, the crops are personal property, so they belong to the farmer and not the landowner. Now fixtures, we have Maria. So to see if something is a fixture, you have to look at a few different tests. And that's the method of attachment, adaptability, intention, relationship of the parties, and agreement. And with Maria, um, each test you will figure out whether or not it, it's, if it is a fixture, then it is a real property. And if it's not a fixture, um, then it is personal property. Now, land. Um, definition or um, description can be done in three different ways. One is meets and bounds. Uh, the second one is sections and townships. And the third one, which is more common now, is lots, blocks, and tracks. And the third one is most used in any kind of planned community. So read up on meets and bounds. Uh, it uses uh, distance and points like feet, yards, rods, and chains, uh, starting points, and ending markers. Okay. Uh, the surveyor's maps will uh, have all that information on it. Now, sections and townships are done by baselines and meridian lines. And just a bit of info, or interesting information is there's one in San Bernardino, uh, the San Bernardino baseline. And that actually has a center point of the streets, baseline and meridian. So if you look up baseline and meridian, the, where the streets intersect, then you will know where uh, that San Bernardino baseline begins. 
Okay, so in your book, you can read through townships and um, sections. And, and each township is divided by 36 sections and how you count the sections. Now, this isn't used very much, but it can appear uh, on your real estate exam. So, so review this section of the book so that you can understand how these things work. Uh, lots, blocks, and tracks, as I said earlier, housing developments, so that you can figure out which parcel is which. So tract is the individual subdivision map. Blocks are sections of that tract, and then the lot is the actual numbered uh, parcel. And then there's an example there. Now there is also a, a reference table of all these uh, kind of math uh, descriptions. Now, uh, I don't expect you to memorize all of these, but these do appear on uh, the the exam, the state exam. So it's good to know this stuff uh, when you're preparing for the state exam. Okay, and that is uh, chapter one. Thank you.